Hi everyone, uh, my name is Ravi. I'm a physics PhD student here in Austin, Texas. Um, and I just want to say thanks to the JulieCon organizers for uh, keeping everything running during the pandemic, um, giving me a chance to talk. And I'm going to talk to you guys about symbolic tensors.jl, a um, package I've been working on to do symbolic uh, tensor manipulations. Um, so uh, the kind of tensors this package uses are, um, you think of them just like n-dimensional arrays um, that you manipulate with uh, indices. Um, so for example, here's how you'd write a metric, uh, sorry, a matrix and a vector. And the metric is a special uh, tensor that can raise and lower uh, indices. And contracted indices have to be um, respectively upper and lower, or up, lower and upper. You know? They have to be um, mismatched. Uh, so here's how you'd write like a vector dot product or a uh, matrix multiplication in this notation. And that's more or less all there is to it. Um, added terms have to have the same free indices. Uh, so like, you, you, know, you have to add a vector to something with one free index, like a vector. So this package, uh, yeah, exists for um, manipulating these types of tensors. Called, it's called Penrose notation. And it's a uh, PyCall wrapper around one of SymPy's modules, uh, SymPy.tensor.tensor. Um, sort of like how SymPy.jl is a wrapper around most of SymPy, but not this module. I extended the module to support more tensor arithmetic, which I'll talk more about in a second, and um, tensorial derivatives, uh, yeah, features that aren't in the original um, SymPy module. Um, I added features to turn the abstract uh, tensor expressions into um, native Julia functions as well. Um, I'll show you how that works. Okay, right, so as a quick demo, how we write um, this vector plus uh, matrix vector product with symbolic tensors. Uh, it's pretty simple. We have to define a tensor index type that uh, would be the same type for all of our indices. We have to define some indices in that type, uh, define some tensor heads which uh, take indices of that type and then just write it out. Indices with the minus sign are lowered um, and tensor heads are indexed with, uh, just by calling them with uh, sort of like a function. The only real difference in the expression here from the um, mathematical representation is just that the J's have been renamed because uh, they're contracted and summed over anyway, so it doesn't really matter what we name them. Uh, these are named S0. Um, uh, so the original tensor module would throw a division error, even when you divided by products of tensors that were totally contracted. So they were, they were scalars, really. They weren't tensors. Um, and uh, to get around this, I've added uh, some, some hooks to catch whenever there's a product of two um, tensors that becomes totally contracted. I rename it a SymPy variable and um, then just manipulate the SymPy variable. So uh, this kind of looks, here's uh, how this kind of looks. It's just um, one divided by a vector inner product. And it looks like one over TS1, where TS is what all the tensor scalars are named with increasing numbers. And uh, the show function prints that out um, so you can see. The type of derivative support I added is in terms of explicit derivatives. So um, as an example, uh, you know, a vector derivative with a vector with a different index just looks like a uh, delta. Uh, there's this type of derivative that's supported, this plus like uh, products and chain rules. Uh, unevaluated derivatives um, I plan to add, so just you know, things that are derivatives and transform that way symbolically, but aren't uh, further evaluated. Uh, the simplification options you have for, um, you know, all from the tensor module are um, canon BP, so you uh, canonicalize the expression, order the terms in a canonical way. 
contract metric to um, raise and lower indices. Uh, symmetry properties are taken into account. For instance, if you have a symmetric or an anti-symmetric tensor, uh, that's taken into account. And um, SymPy functions also work, um, but not on the tensors themselves. They don't do much. So the real reason I wrote this package was for kind of general relativity calculations. If you've ever done them, they can be very tedious uh, derivatives and resumming and relabeling of uh, tensors in this abstract notation. Um, so you might as well make a, make a computer do it. Uh, here's one way to write the metric on a sphere um, that you probably haven't seen before, even if you know uh, some differential geometry. It's a pretty weird um, metric. But uh, we can compute the Christoffel symbols of it. Um, it's one of the most common co calculations uh, you do in um, differential geometry. Um, and uh, just to show you guys, uh, we can turn these into a SymPy array um, pretty easily. Um, I'll just point out that you know, until this point, that metric could have been in uh, any number of dimensions. It could have been in 10,000 dimensions. Um, it would have been the same expression. Uh, it's only when we turn it into a SymPy array that we pick the dimensionality. So that's the big strength of this package. Uh, okay, and uh, this is my workaround for LambdaFy uh, in SymPy. So turn um, that SymPy array into a native uh, quoted Julie expression, which we can then evaluate and turn into a native Julie function. Um, I did one little quick benchmark. Um, so the product of an odd number of um, anti-symmetric matrices is always zero. Uh, the same anti-symmetric matrix an odd number of times is always zero. Um, okay, so uh, if we do this in symbolic tensors, um, even you know, with 50 something matrices, we can still uh, see that it's zero within half a second or so. Uh, with SymPy, <laughs> um, even for three by three matrices, we can't really go beyond 20 or so before um, the times start getting ridiculous. Seven by seven matrices, SymPy just freezes uh, after more than nine or 10. Um, so uh, the real, yeah, the, the strengths are, are you know, being shown here in this like high um, independent dimension. Uh, type of. Just to summarize a little bit, uh, when you can use symbolic tensors, you should. <laughs> um, it's a lot more efficient at contractions. And uh, over the Python module, I've added support for scalar expressions, derivatives, and uh, better quoting. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, check it out uh, on my GitHub here. Um, there's a lot of open issues. And hopefully, once we get some of these squared away, you can file for package registration pretty soon. I'd um, like to thank uh, the SymPy JL um, contributors for having a clean code base. A lot of my you know, PyCall type logic is all, is all from them. Um, of course, the original uh, SymPy tensor module is where the majority of this um, package's usefulness comes from. Uh, Xtensor is the Mathematica package that does a lot of the same calculations, and I use some of their demos and algorithms. Uh, I'd also like to thank my partner, Maha for uh, helping me out and um, putting up with me coding too much. Hey, thanks guys, I should be in the chat answering questions if you have any.